What's up folks, this is the first brand deal with the channel. It's a product that I've been using for the longest time. It's a Synology NAS with 4 bay and crazy amount of hard drives attached to it and it does a ton of stuff we're gonna talk about. But we have a new product from Synology that I'm excited to show you. So let's unbox it and set it up. Now, one of the things that I like to do as a YouTuber is store data, tons of video. This one I'm shooting in 4K. This is gonna be a lot of file storage. Now you'll say, hey, cloud storage is cheap, but it's not. So what do you do? External hard drives? I've done that before and you lose data like crazy. Those die on you very fast and maintaining them in sync manually over time is just a pain. In fact, there's a professional solution for all of this. Network attached to it. And there's one of my favorite companies that makes it, Synology. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. They've included more RAM and they have included an enterprise level solid state in VME drive. Wow. This is gonna become our SSD cache. We're gonna talk up all about that and now which I can't wait for. Now many of you would be wondering, Siddharth, you already have a NAS going on there, so why do you need another one? Well, this one is gonna be for the editors. Have this the uh, the two hard drives. One uh, they're gonna run in RAID setup, which means one is actual space available, another one is used for backup. Uh, we can do different configurations there, but between two drives is gonna be a simple setup. So in case one fails, I can remove one and replace it with another one. So especially with this SSD setup, oh, it's going to be so blazing fast. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be faster than my older machine because that one doesn't have an SSD and that one is not the, uh, you know, the latest model. Which and that's, that's our NAS, four bays, power button, USB in front. And behind we have two LAN cables, power, uh, SIDA connector and another USB in. Technology sent RAM. I don't know if I need um, additional RAM right now, but definitely need the SSD. First, we're gonna install the SSD. Well, those are two slots you have. You see that the enterprise grade NVMe SSD that they have sent? We're gonna put that up. Installed. This 
going to give us read and write cache and the hard drives that go into it are actually 4400 rpm they are specially made for nas purposes so they can run 24/7 and run very close to each other without too much vibration and sustain vibration from each other both way and this ssd is going to serve as cache read and write cache for those hard disks so of files that are often accessed will be easily open there these are 4 tb each so right now i'm going to have 4 tb space because they're going to run and read later on i can keep upgrading fresh new hard drives One, and then put the hard drive in and put them back, something like that. This is this is this thing. I push it out. No screws needed, as far as I remember. That looks about right. Yep, we got it perfectly in place. This is gonna attach to the PCB at the back, and then we put these locks back in. And ready to slide. Goes in and lock. So satisfying. And we are ready to plug this beast in. So let's put it in its place. This is the old NAS, like I showed you before, and this is all the covers that we just uncovered. Bata khara, good. Khara bata, good. Very good. And that one is for personal use. This is the new space for the one for that editors are going to use. Wait. Ah, these two LAN aggregates plug into these switches right here. One of these switches to connect it to the internet. And the rest of the network. Yep, I know there's a whole lot of wiring behind the scenes. We're gonna plug that wiring to that thing over there. Maybe I'm gonna show some dish walk you with around the wiring. Mai aava, mai aava. Mai aava.